You ever notice how your game feels perfect at the start? Buttery smooth, low latency? Then after 30 minutes, everything just drags, stutters, frame drops, maybe even a crash if you push it long enough. That's not your GPU suddenly getting weak, that's a memory leak. Windows, your drivers, even your games themselves sometimes forget to give memory back. And when RAM or VRAM leaks pile up, it strangles performance. Today, I'll show you how to shut those leaks down, free your memory in real time, and keep your FPS locked. Step 1. Understand the RAM and VRAM leak problem. When a program asks Windows for memory, it allocates RAM or VRAM. When it's done, it's supposed to give it back. But games and apps, especially modern ones, sometimes fail to release it. Over time, memory fills with junk data that sits there uselessly, eating into the resources your game desperately needs. RAM leaks cause stutters, alt tab lag, and eventually force Windows to page data to disk. VRAM leaks cause blurry textures, texture pop-ins, or your game crashing with out-of-video memory errors. This explains why your game feels fine at launch, but slowly deteriorates. Knowing this is key because the fixes are all about forcing Windows and your GPU to clean up after themselves. Step 2. Intelligent Standby List Cleaner ISLC Setup One of the biggest hidden causes of stutters in Windows is standby memory bloat. This happens when Windows fills RAM with cached data from closed apps or background tasks, but doesn't free it quickly enough when a game suddenly needs more memory. The result? Micro stutters, delayed asset loading, or even random FPS drops mid-game. That's where Intelligent Standby List Cleaner by Wagnord Soft comes in. It's a lightweight utility designed specifically to monitor your RAM and clear out bloated standby memory automatically before it impacts your gameplay. Here's how. Download ISLC from Wagnard Soft's official site, never from unofficial mirrors. Extract and run the program as administrator. Under list size is greater than, set 1024 megabytes if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, 4096 megabytes if you have 16 or more. This tells ISLC when to step in. Set free memory is lower than 1024 megabytes. Check the boxes for auto start monitoring and launch at logon so it always runs in the background. Click Start, then Minimize. ISLC will quietly do its job with almost zero CPU usage. From now on, ISLC will only clean memory when thresholds are hit, meaning you'll keep maximum performance without manual cleanup. It's especially helpful for open-world titles and competitive shooters where every frame counts. Step 3. Page File Optimization The Right Way Think of the Windows page file as your RAM safety net. When your physical RAM fills up, whether from memory leaks, mods, or demanding open world games, Windows pushes less used data into the page file stored on your drive. The problem is that the default Windows settings aren't optimized for gaming and can cause sudden stutters, disk thrashing, or even system hangs. To fix this, you'll want to take control. Open System Properties, then Advanced, then Performance, then Virtual Memory. Uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size. Select your fastest drive, ideally an SSD, and set a custom size. Initial size equals your exact RAM size. For example, 16,384 megabytes if you have 16 gigabytes. Maximum size equals 1.5 times your RAM size. For example, 24,576 megabytes for 16 gigabytes. This prevents Windows from constantly resizing the page file, which causes instability, and ensures you always have enough virtual memory as backup. While the page file is slower than real RAM, a properly tuned one stops crashes, alt-tab freezes, and those brutal FPS drops when memory pressure spikes. Step 4. Flush VRAM with a registry tweak. While ISLC and page file tuning keep system RAM under control, VRAM leaks are another beast. 
Some games, especially poorly optimized ones, will slowly chew through your GPU's memory until stutters, black screens, or outright crashes happen. Luckily, there's a little-known registry trick that helps stabilize VRAM behavior. Open Registry Editor, Win plus R, to regedit. Navigate to, create three new DWORD 32-bit values. TDR delay equals 10, extends the time Windows waits before resetting a frozen GPU. TDRDDE delay equals 20, gives the driver even more breathing room. TDR level equals zero, disables the aggressive timeout detection system. What this does, instead of Windows instantly assuming your GPU died when VRAM is stressed, it allows extra recovery time, preventing those mid-game driver crashes that dump you back to desktop. Pro tip, when you feel VRAM choking, textures loading late, sudden hitching, hit Win plus Control plus Shift plus B. This hotkey restarts your graphics driver on the spot, instantly flushing VRAM without forcing a reboot. Combined with the registry tweak, it's like having a manual reset button for memory leaks. Step 5. Disable Memory Compression Windows 10 11 uses memory compression to squeeze data into RAM. Sounds smart, but when leaks pile up, compression actually slows things down. Open PowerShell as admin. Run disable-magent-mc. This disables memory compression. Restart after running it. With this off, Windows stops wasting CPU cycles on compressing leaked junk memory, and your RAM stays leaner for real workloads. Step 6. Track down background service leaks. Sometimes, it's not even your game leaking, it's a background service hogging RAM. Audio drivers, RGB software, and even browsers can balloon over time. How to catch them? Press Control plus Shift plus Escape. Then Task Manager. Sort processes by memory. Look for apps that creep upwards the longer your PC runs. Common culprits? Nehemic Audio, Razer Synapse, Corsair IQ, Chrome. Fix? Disable unneeded services via services.msc. Replace bloated apps with lightweight alternatives, such as Fan Control instead of Armory Create. For RGB, set static profiles and kill the service after. The fewer background leaks, the more headroom for your game. Step 7. GPU Cache and Shader Leak Fix one of the most overlooked sources of VRAM leaks and stutters isn't your game itself, it's the shader and GPU cache that slowly bloats over time. Your graphics driver stores pre-compiled shaders, DirectX cache, and other temporary files so games can load effects faster. That's good when it's clean, but over weeks or after multiple driver updates, these caches can corrupt or balloon in size, acting almost like a silent VRAM hog. The result? Random stutters, texture pop-ins, or even sudden FPS drops mid-match. Here's how to clean it safely. Press Win plus R, type percent local app data percent backslash NVIDIA. For AMD, use percent local app data percent backslash AMD. Delete the folders named DX Cache and GLC Cache. For DirectX 12, also clear percent local app data percent backslash D3DSC cache. After this, your GPU will rebuild fresh shader caches the next time you launch a game. This can smooth out stutters and fix long standing cache related leaks. Important warning do not do this while a game is running. Clearing cache mid session can cause immediate crashes or force your game to reload shaders, which feels like a freeze. Instead, Clear the caches when your system is idle, then reboot before gaming. Step 8. Bonus CMD or PowerShell Monitoring Want to actually see leaks happening? Try this command in PowerShell. Get Process. This shows the top 10 RAM hogs in real time. If one app steadily climbs while idle, that's your leak. Kill it or reinstall the software. 
for VRAM monitoring, tools like MSI Afterburner or GPU-Z can show if VRAM keeps climbing even when idle. Step 9. Pair with Park Control and ISLC. Stopping leaks is one thing. Making sure your CPU and RAM respond instantly is another. That's where Park Control and ISLC together shine. Park Control. Disable CPU core parking so your CPU never sleeps during leaks. ISLC. Clears RAM standby memory intelligently. Together, they ensure that even if small leaks remain, your PC keeps responding fast. And that's how you stop RAM and VRAM leaks from murdering your performance mid-game. With ISLC, registry fixes, and some hidden tricks, you've just taken control back from Windows's messy memory management. No more late-game stutters, no more random crashes. Just clean, consistent FPS. If this helped, smash that like, subscribe for more next level tweaks, and drop a comment with what game leaks the most for you. I might even do a full VRAM deep dive next. Until then, keep your system lean, your FPS high, and your latency low.